Traveling in a small RV gives those wishing to roll across America many options and choices that are not available to most travelers. Most people agree that size matters. A slew of smaller coaches are now being offered which allows the owners a great deal of freedom. This is one of the fastest growing segments of an exploding market bolstered by people wanting to get out of their homes and cities but hesitant to leave the country due to travel restrictions. The strong demand for RVs is coming from both the baby boomers and millennials. RV sales have hit record highs over the past year as Americans have been out rediscovering national parks, small towns, and friendly rural communities. The tall vans made by Ram, Mercedes, and Ford have become the top-end choice of many individuals dedicated to true travel. Often these smaller deluxe RVs, similar to the one in the picture, are decked out with everything including the kitchen sink. Many come not only with a toilet but a shower and a self-contained power source. While costly per square foot they offer flexibility to their owners that no other RV can afford. While the initial price may be a bit salty, with many ranging well over $125,000, a smaller coach offers an incredible amount of freedom over its larger brethren. This makes them especially popular when occupied by only one or two people. Not only are these tall vans easy to maneuver and able to fit into a regular parking space, but many also get better mileage per gallon than the vehicles many people drive each day. Unlike campers that are pulled and mainly built to remain in one place for a long time or the gas-guzzling monsters that need a huge amount of maintenance and time to make ready for a journey, these coaches can be off with far less preparation. For those eager to hit the road without a lot of baggage and in one of these smaller rigs, the Harvest Hosts community, an enterprising group of winemakers, farmers, museums, and attractions have opened their doors. This outgoing group invites Harvest Hosts RV members to visit and park on their property at no charge for 24 hours in exchange for supporting their business. This allows travelers to come into contact and undergo a wide range of experiences most people never have an opportunity to enjoy. For many RV owners it's as all about the journey, and the experience of visiting a Harvest Host is akin to A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. These travels are likely to generate marvelous memories that will last you a lifetime. In the book, Hemingway writes of his memories of his life as an unknown writer living in Paris in the 20s in a way that is deeply personal, warmly affectionate, and full of wit. This look back includes tales of not only his own much younger self, but also several other writers who shared Paris with him, James Joyce, Wyndham Lewis, Scott, and Zelda Fitzgerald. Hemingway recalls in this book the time when poor but happy, he wrote in cafes while soaking in the life around him. While the characters you meet during your travels may not attain the status of the famous writers Hemingway writes about many of them are guaranteed to be notable and the experience is certain to widen your horizons. Over the years my interests have changed or rather evolved. I moved from sailing on a small inland lake to sailing Lake Michigan, or as Gordon Lightfoot, in his song, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, says, the big lake they call, Gitchy Gumi. After that, I, Blitz traveled, across a chunk of the world seeking out the most treasured jewels the planet has to offer. This has galvanized my belief that when people think back over their life, memories of their travels tend to stand out like precious gems. The idea of traveling without taking a massive amount of stuff with you gives a person a great deal of freedom. It allows you to pass by all those burdened with more than the basic essentials. The RV boom is expected to remain through this year and into the next as more Americans rediscover our great country. This mode of travel grants them the joy of being with their families in a safe and controlled environment. COVID-19 has caused Americans to reevaluate how they travel, instead of jumping on planes and going to resort towns many are visiting our country's wide open spaces. Several other advantages exist when you own one of the smaller totally self-contained coaches. You are able to pull over just about anywhere and get a few hours of shut-eye in reasonable comfort. Whether it is on a city street, along a stream, in an interstate rest area, or at a truck stop. Some of this is sometimes referred to as, stealth camping, or, boondocking. This gives you a great deal more control over your schedule. Such a setup permits you to skip having to stay in expensive campgrounds and always having to have a reservation wherever you go. This also means if you decide to stay in a hotel now and then, you can check in early in the day at a place of your choice rather than wandering into a lobby late at night when you are dead beat. Years ago my father took a bunch of us on a whirlwind tour of California, we still smile when we remember him saying, get out and take a look at this but don't linger. Yes, there is always more to see. 
This was the Nomad Economist. Please like, share, leave me a comment, subscribe, and please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.